Hello everyone, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to be telling you about the Digital Public Library of America. From here on out, I'm going to call it DPLA. And DPLA is a collection of digital resources, typically primary resources, which can be images, collections, diaries, letters, all different types of materials available for you from museums, libraries, and much more, which you can find out here if you click on About. You can find out all about DPLA. And it's all here in a collection for you to search freely available over 17 million items from libraries, archives, and museums from around the world, specifically though, here in the United States. Easy to search, easy to look at, easy to use, and just a wealth of information, especially from a historical vantage point. But there's more recent material in here as well. If you are looking for information from the past, if you're looking for background information, if you're looking for really nice images, lots of great stuff. This is wonderful for history classes, social studies classes, science, but to be quite honest, there's lots of stuff in here. So as always, I tend to look for information for teens and politics in all of my videos, but I've already done that search before I did this video, found that I got a little bit of stuff, but not much. So I'm going to just do politics, which is going to give me a lot. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. And when you type in politics, because as you see, you get a very nice uh, search box, easy to use, very Google style. You can get a map of all your information. You can get a timeline, all different types of stuff. But here on the left side of the screen, you get all of your different subjects. And if you click on more, you're going to see all of your different subjects about politics. You can get government and law. You can get it by location, legislators. And if you click, you get many pages. You get a lot of stuff. You get everything from migrant workers to parades to immigration people, United States, lawyers, so you can really narrow it down. This also helps us to find more keywords if you refer back to my video on keywords, finding ways to search. You can also go by location. And if you go by location, we have everything from Mexico to Brazil going on. We have even Ethiopia, Somalia, Serbia. We've got everything all different types of areas. We have multiple languages as well as contributing institutions if that is of interest to you. You can also look at your types if you are looking for images, text, moving images, sound, or actual physical objects. And when we say physical objects, it's just the images of the physical objects. You wouldn't be able to actually check out a statue, but they are there. So if you are looking for politics, Let's say that I wanted to look at, from 1906, from the Los Angeles record, you could actually look at a full text newspaper article, and this is the actual image from this particular newspaper article. You have to scroll down a little bit to see it, but this is a 1906 newspaper article about the city primary elections. So this is over 100 years old about the politics in Los Angeles. So you can see how you can look at this. This actually comes from the Claremont College's digital library from Claremont College. And so instead of actually, this is a one of a kind item. You would not be able to find this in your local library, but because they have digitally scanned this item, you are now able to look at it, save it, scan it, download it, print it, send the URL to one of your friends. If this was something that interested you, you can look at the history of politics, and this is just politics. We could search all sorts of things. I looked at civil rights. I did look at teens in politics. You can look at teens. You can look at pretty much anything you like, anything that you're interested in. If you were looking at the history of advertisements, if you were looking at automobiles, if you, I don't care, whatever you're interested in, you can look it up and find all different types of information. So DPLA is what I call a rabbit hole site. You start looking in one area and then you type in another search tool uh, or another search item or a search term. And then about three hours later, you come out of here it could be because you've fallen down the rabbit hole of searching. It's very interesting to look at. Lots of historical information, lots of just information in general. It's not just history. Uh, lots of really neat stuff, information, lots to look at. Can be great for projects for school. Um, if you need any help, check with your teachers, librarians. Ask me if you... Um, are looking for more information, my Twitter feed is connected to this channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe. 
More videos to come. Thank you so much. Have a great day.